Good morning guys, it is Monday and it is the most glorious bright spring morning. I know I start with weather every day but I had to mention it this morning because it is such a nice day and I literally feel so like invigorated because of the weather. I, I feel so spunky. <laughs> Um, no, I'm, I'm only saying that because I literally just voice noted my friend and I was saying about someone being spunky in, in the sense of the word that they, it means that they're, um, what does it mean? You know, funky, a little bit of shazazz going on. Um, sorry, I'm in such a hyper mood. Uh, literally, just because of the weather, I'm in such a like buzzy mood. And I've spent the morning spring cleaning in here as well. I cleaned the floor. Oh, we got balloons there. Somebody was 30 last week. Um, Lou, by the way, Lou was 30 on Wednesday. 30 years old. He was 21 when I met him on a train all those years ago. And he is now 30 years old. And I don't know how or where those years have gone. Um, but yeah, fancy that. 30 years old. Bless him. Bless him. Um, but yeah, we had, he had a really nice, I mean, we just had a really chilled evening and um, yeah, really lovely. I think we're gonna celebrate properly um, because it's my birthday. It's my birthday on the 10th of April. So I think we're gonna do like a little bit of a joint barbecue in the garden and have our six friends or four, four people over and have like a little, a little soiree. Anyway, today I am, uh, what am I doing today? Like I said, I've been spring cleaning here this morning, cleaned the floor, cleaned, the, cleaned everything. I've got all the windows open in the bedroom, making it nice and, you know, when it's a nice day and you just open all the windows and it just feels so fresh and clean. Um, God, how many times can I say that? <laughs> I'm about to tackle my office. It is a bit mental in there so I thought I would show you before and then we can kind of and then I can kind of I was gonna say we can tackle it together but wouldn't that be lovely if you could all come over and help me clean it <laughs> we can't tackle it together um but you can watch me tackle my office basically um it's just full of boxes and boxes and crap basically not crap no sorry that's the wrong thing to say cause it's not full of crap like a lot of nice stuff in the boxes but just it looks like it looks like crap basically so I'm going to tackle that in a minute and then I, I'm literally resting my arm. That's how weak I am. I'm resting my arm on my leg because I haven't got the strength in these puny little arms to hold my camera up for longer than a minute, apparently. Oh, three minutes. There we go. That's how long I've been gabbling for. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tackle that first and then I have got quite a few boxes from, in fact, come on, come with me. I'll show you. Oh, I've got a special package here as well that arrived this morning that I am very excited to get into. I will open that one first, um, but yeah, very excited to look at that. Um, I actually really, really, really need to order some prints for these frames. They have been up on that wall for about a month now, and I still haven't got any frames in them. In fact, I'm gonna be honest, it's been longer than a month. Probably been, I think, actually, did they go up before Christmas? No, I don't think it was up before Christmas, but anyway. Um, oh, and by the way, I'm in quite like scruffy clothes because like I said, I have been cleaning this morning. So I've got my white t-shirt on, night leggings that are very old, that the tick has started to come away. Um, but yeah, like I said, put some scruffy clothes on so that I could do a bit of a spring clean. Um, anyway, 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 this is the current situation in my office. <laughs> <gasps> I actually, I think it's a little bit overwhelming. That's why I've been keeping this door shut because I just like, every time I walk past it, I'm like, I can't, I just can't look at it. <laughs> Cannot look at it right now. Um, but I've just been, as soon as a, it's so handy because as soon as a package arrives, I literally just chuck it in here and then close the door. But yeah, not practical whatsoever. So as you can see, I've got lots of different packages from Amazon. I think they're about six, seven, something like that. Um, yeah, loads of different bits from Amazon. I've got two big bags here from River Island because I'm working with them on a Instagram Reels this month. So I will film that. Probably going to film that later on in the week. On the 
later on in the week so I won't unbox them in today's video I don't think um, I might do I might not um, and then these are just a few PR packages that, are, that have arrived stacked up here a box there that I need to go through well two packages there that I've kind of opened and left discarded and then over here we have got um, the what's in here oh these are the trench coats that I ordered for the trench coats video that I did last week that need to go back so we've got mango Stradivarius, Marks and Spencers, ASOS and so I need to package them up properly and send them back today as well and then I also need to tackle this rail over here because this has been there since well about a month or so ago but when I was wearing like winter coats there's quite a lot of thick wintry coats on there um, and that needs to be changed to some nice spring sort of spring outfits instead of winter so I've still got still got trench coats there but yeah just need to get rid of like the more foot, uh, thicker black coats and just tackle just tackle this area in general oh also I've got this here which I didn't really know what to do with it's a little bit of a random addition <laughs> But I thought I would do is put all my different bags in there because I, I, I yeah, I just thought it was handy to have them kind of on display but then stacked in there. So I might fill that up with my bags at some point today if I find the time. I feel like I've got loads to do today. I also want to clean the windows as well because you know when the spring light starts to come through, like when it's really sunny and then you notice how dusty they are as well. Um, in fact, I need to order a karcher. That's what I need to do because that will make it a lot easier. Um, but I am going to pop you down somewhere, pop on a little bit of a time hop, pop, 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 and get this office looking a little bit better. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything. having a glass of chia seeds every morning because they're meant to be really good for your digestion and good for like your heart and your cholesterol I think there's loads of like health benefits but basically I take three teaspoons and add it to water like a whole glass of water I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera but they literally soak up the water and they go really gungy it almost reminds me of um, frog spawn that's the kind of texture they are like I, I I add loads of water to stop them being too too kind of thick I mean don't get me wrong it doesn't taste very nice it actually tastes a bit like pond water as well not only does it look like pond water it tastes like it too um, and it's like I can't explain it but it's quite slimy in fact it's very slimy it's the slimiest drink you'll ever drink <laughs> I'm really not selling it to you, am I? Um, but I, yeah, I, I'm quite good at just being like, right, it's good for me, I'll get it down me. So that's what I've been doing, so yeah. And also, sorry, I know it's not attractive, but also I feel like I need to like slurp it through, like instead of drinking it like a normal drink because it's so weird and thick, you almost have to, almost have to slurp it really not very nice but good for you so try it try it you might like it yeah not the tastiest but not about the taste is it i thought i would bring all of the boxes in here to open just because it's a little bit a little bit brighter in here a bit more space um, and I have got a pile here from Amazon Fashion, and then I've got a pile here from Miscellaneous. 
Um, and also there's a few bits from Amazon Home as well. I am working with Amazon Fashion on this part of the video, um, but obviously I've chose everything myself, so and I, yeah, I'm gonna try everything on afterwards as well. Um, but I will get into it and show you what I ordered. There's a few spring bits, um, some Birkenstocks, I think. I think I ordered two pairs of Birkenstocks to compare. Um, okay, so this is the first pair I ordered, just the plain white with the cork sole. Um, and I just loved my beige Birkenstocks last year. I got the kind of taupey beige ones last year. And I literally, and did I get them last year or the year before? No, I think it was the beginning of last summer. I wore them so, so much. They were literally my most worn sandal of the year. And so I thought white would be lovely for spring, summer. And they were on offer as well. Amazon have got, Amazon Fashion have got some really, really good deals on, on like, um, like they've always got offers on, on Levi's and Calvin Klein and Birkenstocks. So I thought it was a good time to get them while they were on offer. Obviously just got a little bit of, little bit of branding on the inside. Um, and they are leather as well. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I ordered. I think there was something else in here as well. Oh yes, I ordered a hairband as well. I just thought this looked really cute. Um, and I love the way this style of hairband looks in spring, summer, kind of. I think, I think they always work better in spring, summer rather than autumn, winter. And I know that sounds really weird, but I feel like just with a little bit of hair, a little bit of hair coming down at the front and then a top knot. I always think they look really lovely um, and good for holidays as well. As and when we are able to go on holiday. Um, so I will show you the Birkenstocks on properly in a minute and I will compare them to the other pair as well. I've actually forgotten what I ordered and that's weird because I didn't even order it that long ago. Oh, okay, we've got a few bits in here. Oh, okay, yes, some really lovely spring bits I ordered. So, first of all, I'm really excited about these, actually. Oh, they are perfect. Oh, they're really nice. They're exactly what I hoped they would be. Although, I hope they're not too small. I ordered an extra small. They're like a lightweight linen blend short. I think they're a linen blend. Let me just double check. Yeah, they're 55% linen and 45% viscose. And also, they've got an elasticated back as well and they were super reasonable as well and i think they come in this color black and khaki i think um so i will pop them on in a bit and show you how they look on oh, i should have faked hand my legs shouldn't i never mind never mind you just have to imagine it <laughs> um this dress i also love the look of for spring as well um it comes in this color black and white i think um, but I just thought it was gorgeous. Really love this kind of nudie colour. Um, it is a midi length and it's got tears, tears running down it. Um, and I just think this style of dress is so easy to chuck on because they kind of just hang down from your shoulders. I just think they look lovely with sandals in the summer or in spring. I love the way that this style of dress looks with a leather jacket over the top and trainers or a denim jacket. Oh, that's perfect. That's lovely. That will actually look really nice tucked into those shorts as well, won't it? Really lovely. I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I know we're not in, we're only just in spring, let alone summer. And that is very much a summer outfit. Um, but I just thought this top looked so cute. It's like a knitted fabric. Um, and I thought at the moment with jeans, it would be nice. And then obviously coming into spring, it'd be great. Um, coming into summer, it'd be really nice with denim shorts or linen shorts. What's next? Oh, okay. So I also ordered a pair of black shorts. And these are actually from Miss Selfridge at Amazon. But they were on offer. I think they were reduced to... They were definitely under £20. They were really, really reasonable. I think maybe... Yeah, they were, they were a really good price and I thought they looked really nice. They're just a pair of simple black shorts. I'm not too sure about this white button. I think I'd prefer it if that was tortoise shell or even black. But I would probably wear them with like a t-shirt or a shirt tucked in and then puckered over anyway. So I don't think you'd see that. But they're super, super lightweight. Like the fabric feels really lovely and flowy. Um, and... Yeah, like the look of them. Again, I'll pop them on. Again, I wish I'd fake down my legs. <laughs> and then, oh yes, I'm excited about these as well. These are such 
a spring trouser if ever I saw one. I hope they fit. Oh, they look lovely. Oh, they've got a nice bit of stretch in them as well. I didn't expect that. I thought they'd be a bit more like, yeah, they feel really nice. They've also got the elasticated waist at the back as well. Um, but they're just a simple pair of sage green trousers. And I just think for spring, these would be lovely. Just start with sandals. And again, a white linen shirt, a white t-shirt. Um, yeah, just thought they were really nice. And again, they were so reasonable. I know I keep saying that about everything. And the quality of them, if I hold them a little bit closer, you can see the fabric is really, really lovely. And they've got a little turn up at the bottom too. So I will also pop those on. Um, like I said, I did order a few home bits, which I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. But I ordered some bits separately, I mean, to Amazon Fashion. Um, so. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't expect it to come in a little box like this. This is a laptop stand. I ordered this because... Well, I'm, I'm sure like a lot of you have been doing at the moment, I work from my laptop most of the time. I do actually need to get a desktop computer for my office, which is something I keep meaning to order. Um, but the majority of the time I work from my laptop and you're like this, aren't you? You're kind of like looking down all the time. So I noticed they did a laptop stand which weirdly, I'm going to insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like because I presume, I expected it to come in a big box. But basically it, may, it makes the, oh there you go, so it kind of does that and then I guess this bit sits up, oh I don't know. But it basically means that you're sitting at your laptop at this angle so that you can look at it here and still type here. Um, and I just thought it would be quite handy for when I am working for my laptop, <laughs> obviously. Um, oh, these are the other pair of Birkenstocks. I obviously... Sorry, I obviously won't keep both of them. Yeah, these were about half the price of the other ones, and so I thought I would just, I'd just try them out. I think I'm going to keep the other ones just because I prefer the style of them. But I think that these were around £25, which I thought was really, really reasonable, and I thought they might be quite good for kind of going in and out of the garden or on holiday. They're kind of like, they're like a slider. They're the same sort of foamy material as my adidas sliders are so they'll be great for holiday you know getting in and out of the pool but they do still look like a classic birkenstock um, but they're just completely foam that's obviously why they are cheaper than the other ones because the other ones are leather and kind of got that cork base but they're also really nice and very handy for like i said in and out of the garden because you could just wash them down they're that sort of fabric that not fabric material that you could just clean chuck in the washing machine Oh, oh, I'm excited about this as well. This looks really lovely online. Let's see. Oh, that is cute. It's a little bit longer than what I thought it was, but it's really, really lovely. It is a Levi's denim dress. And like I mentioned before, Amazon Fashion have got so many different like Levi's styles of jeans, um, denim jackets at on offer like at a reduced price and this was also on offer and i just thought it was really cute i love i love the look of denim jumpsuits or denim dresses or kind of like denim play suits in spring summer and then this is the final package from amazon and it is oh 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 yes, I remember now. It is a, sorry my battery died just as I opened that box, um, but it is a Lumi Sunrise Alarm Clock. And I have been wanting to order one of these for ages. Um, I've seen other people say like how, um, like what a game changer they are basically. They wake you up. I mean, I'm sure most of you have probably heard of it, but it's it's got sunrise and sunset effects for a natural way to wake up and fall to sleep. With mood, light, with mood lighting and wake sounds. This was one of the really reasonable ones. I think it was about 30 something pounds. You can pay upwards of 100 pounds for them, but I think this is just the basic one because I thought I'll try it out and see how I get on with it. Um, 
but I just wanted something that could wake me up with like bright light rather than rather than a loud alarm clock that just makes you feel all so I think the idea is that they just subtly get lighter and lighter so say if you set your alarm for 6 30 then at six o'clock this would come on really dim and it would get brighter and brighter and brighter so that by 6 30 your room's illuminated <laughs> Um, but I'll try it out. I will let you know how I get on with it. I'll try it out tonight and let you know. I will also link this one in the description box as well. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tidy this stuff up, try some bits on, and then I will come back to these packages afterwards, I think. Open those, open those a bit later on so it doesn't, so it doesn't get a bit too repetitive. Sorry, I've got a really itchy nose. Okay, so I thought I'd start off with the trousers. And by the way, I did just check my order and these were £22. Um, they feel so, so comfortable on. They literally almost feel like I'm wearing joggers. They're so stretchy, um, just feel really lovely. And the fact that they've got an elasticated waist is great because they've got no kind of button detail on the front. It's just pull up and down, <laughs> pull up and down. Um, I think they'd be really good as like spring summer work wear if you worked in an office where you had to wear smart trousers but you wanted something a little bit different. I feel like these would be a really good option just styled with a simple white shirt. I have just popped them on with obviously this, the top I already had on and a blazer over the top because I thought it was super, just like a super sort of smart casual spring outfit. I've also got my trainers on as well. Um, and I really like the way they look styled like this. But like I said, I'd also wear them with a linen shirt as well. I have just changed my hair up, by the way, as well. I wasn't feeling the, I wasn't feeling the ponytail, so I've put it in a centre parting. And the other thing I was going to say is that I feel like you could definitely, or I could definitely, let me just, sorry, I'm doing that with one hand, so it won't be the neatest. But I feel like you could definitely wear them folded up like that if you prefer to have a little bit more ankle on show. Okay, next up are the shorts and I got these in a size UK 10 because I wanted them to be a little bit looser and flowy and quite comfortable um, and I didn't, yeah, I didn't want them to be too tight around the waist but they are a bit too big for me. I have just popped them with a belt to try and pull them in a little bit so I could show you them on properly without them looking ridiculous but annoyingly they are a bit too big for me. Um, but they are a really, really nice pair of shorts, like lengthwise, they're a really good length um, the material is really nice and lightweight and comfortable and I've just checked my order and they were £19 and on the label that's still on them it says £35 on the label so really good price really nice pair of shorts um, but yeah just go for your regular size <laughs> quite simple really okay these shorts definitely fit me a lot better and I think they work better styled with the white linen shirt as well I think the black ones would probably be better with maybe a black shirt um, but yeah, really, really lovely. Again, they're such a good length. I love the fact that they're like a little bit longer. Sometimes you can get them, yeah, sometimes when they're too short, they're just not very flattering. Where they're whereas these are a really good length, lovely lightweight linen. I probably could have steamed them because they've got a little bit of, a couple of little creases. Um, but I think once they're steamed, they would hang really nicely. Um, love the fact they've got like a little, little tortoiseshell button. And I ordered these in a size extra small and I would say that they're, pretty true to size i probably could have gone for a small i don't know what i was thinking with the different sizes I've gone for an extra small and a 10. <laughs> um i probably could have gone for a small but i would say just go for your usual size um but they're really really lovely i might order them in the small in black as well um and maybe i don't know what other colors there were but anyway i'll leave the different color options linked below really really like them and then on my feet i have got on the white Birkenstocks and these are the ones like the regular ones with the cork sole um, and they feel really lovely really comfortable I like the way they look with this sort of outfit again I know that Birkenstocks are not for everyone but I just think they look I just think they're quite effortlessly cool they're really comfortable and I really like them especially styled with an outfit like this just very easy kind of throw on chilled summer outfit and yes I know I'm getting ahead of myself wearing a summer outfit um, but in spring, I would also wear this same outfit with jeans instead. Jeans, Birkenstocks, and a white linen shirt. But yeah, I'll quickly try on the other ones as well so you can see the comparison. In fact, I'll pop one on each foot. Okay, I feel like looking at them from a distance like this, you can't really tell the difference. Um, obviously, from the side, you can see that they haven't got the cork heel. But they don't look too different on. And they do still feel really comfortable, but just a lot more lightweight. I like both of them, actually. I just... Let me just pop one on each foot, actually, like I said I was going to. 
So obviously this is the foam one, and then this is the cork and leather one. Um, and looking at it from here, I, I do prefer this one. I just think it looks it looks slightly better quality, but I guess it just depends what you're after. If you're looking for like a really lightweight pair that you can take on holiday with you and go in and out the pool and walk in comfortably um, and take to the beach with you, then I feel like the um, foamy ones are a really good option. But if you're after something that you can wear with kind of like jeans and on a day-to-day -day basis that will probably wear better, I would go for the regular ones. Um, and also it depends on your budget as well. So both of them will be linked below. Um, and also both of them come in a, quite a few different color options as well. Um, so you can check out the different color options if you're not a fan of the stark white. This is how the dress looks on. And I have just quickly ran the steam over it because it was a little bit creased in between the tiers. Um, and it's made such a difference to the way it sort of falls. It's so lovely and flowy. Um, and really lovely lightweight fabric as well. Perfect for spring summer. Um, I did just pop it on with trainers because like I said at the moment I would wear it like this and with a leather jacket. I don't I think a leather jacket. Um, or if not, a denim jacket would look lovely with it. And it's got pockets as well. When I put it on, I was like, oh, it'd be really good if this style of dress had pockets. And I went like that and I was like, it has. Um, which I just think, for me, I know it sounds silly, but it just feels really nice just having your hands in your pockets. It kind of gives it a really free and easy vibe to it. And then finally, this is how the knitted top looks on. And I feel like on camera, it almost looks a little bit like it's blending into my skin. Um, but I promise you, in, in real life, it's not. <laughs> um, I actually really like the colour of it. I think it's lovely for spring, summer. It looks nice with blue denim. Um, but I also think it would look nice with white denim as well or um, like, like I said the linen shorts that I showed you. I have just popped it on with jeans and Birkenstocks but for some reason I don't really, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's working. Maybe like the, I don't know, I just, I'm just not feeling it as an outfit. I like each piece separately but just not together. Um, but yeah, really nice and I just thought I would tuck it in to show you because that's actually probably how I would wear it. I'd just tuck the bottom in and then kind of pucker it over, a little bit like that. Yeah, that, work, that works better, doesn't it? I've just made myself a very healthy lunch. Lou just popped back for lunch and he was making himself a salad. I don't normally have salad for lunch, but he was making himself one. So I thought, do you know what? I'll join you. So I've got my healthy green smoothie. And then, no, you did offer to make me one, but I said no to start with. And then the more he made his, I was like, oh, actually that does look good. Um, anyway, I've got a healthy green smoothie and a tuna and feta and beetroot salad with lettuce, rocket, spring onion, red onion, and beetroot, and some natural yogurt. And then this is Lou's salad, and he's got exactly the same as me, but with cucumber, hot pepperami, and a chopped up, <laughs> get your hands out, get out, <laughs> and a chopped up hot um, summer fried chicken fillet that he's just got out of the oven. Go on, you can take it now. <laughs> We've got two little, set, two little chairs, sitting out there in the sunshine. And we're going to go and sit on those chairs and eat our salads, aren't we? Fancy. Aren't we, aren't we fancy? Aren't we jolly well fancy? Back out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Nearly just... a week on our past my birthday now, isn't it? I've just given Lou a little present. It's not um, little. Huh? It's not little. Are these fragile stickers accurate? Um, yeah. Yeah, they're 
Yeah, but not like, yeah. I think there's glass in there. some of these photos for ages. No, I know, some are from like... From forever ago. Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't aged a bit, have I? No, not at all. I thought we could put it up like in the bedroom by, you know as you come in the door of our bedroom, on that little bit of wall there. <laughs> Got some good snaps in there. What was that? That's what, um, I'll just after we got engaged. Was it? Yeah, it was when we were standing on the balcony and I had like red lipstick on and a red dress. That night we went and got those ice creams. My hair looked really short. I thought it looked nice in black and white as well, just because it looked like... But I kind of kept the colour a little bit in some of them, can you tell? Yeah, yeah. So it's like black and white but not really nice too stuff. black and white. Thank you. Thanks, God. That was... Do you know when that was? Yeah. <laughs> In the hot tub. You look drunk. You were. I just thought it was quite a cool picture. I was in the lift in the Philippines in the, um, the night after the earthquake. Was it actually yeah. the night after? Yeah. <laughs> look a bit jaded. <laughs> a bit shaken. Oh, that's really cool. It's cute, isn't it? So that, that was the same night as that. Uh, yeah. Good, I wanted to make just keep. <laughs> what a cool gift. This thought was quite nice to remember. For your birthday, you know? It's really cool gift. A gift that keeps on giving. When do you want me to put it up? I think whenever. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, no, it's a really cool gift. I was going to do it in a black frame, but I thought all of our frames are black. It made quite a nice change to not, to not be black. Do you know what I mean? No, it's really nice. Thanks, George. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> you know. I, um... Lou's just gone back to work, um, but I thought I would quickly show you this properly. I think he was pretty chuffed with it. Um, it is, it's from a website called Inkify, and they do like loads of different kind of like photo frames and prints and things like that, but I'd spotted these ones on their Instagram. I think I saw them on like my discovery page and just thought they were so cool. I love that there's so many little pictures. I think there's 58 pictures. Um, and I went for black and white just because I liked the way they looked in black and white and you can get um, the white frame or black but again I went for white because we've got a lot of black frames. So there's 52 different pictures of Lou and I throughout the course of our relationship um, and there's some that are like really old like this is quite an old one, that one is really old, that was quite early on in our relationship as well, that was just after we got engaged and so was that one, um, what else was there, some from holiday, yeah just a little little selection of some of my favourite pictures of ours. Um, I just thought it was a really lovely way of having them all together on your wall so you can just sort of glance at them and you kind of spot, I feel like every time you glance at it you'd spot a different one and yeah just some really really lovely memories. So I'll leave it linked below if you're looking for something like similar, if you've got a birthday like a partner's birthday or something like that, like that coming up. I just think it's a really lovely gift idea. And I think we're either going to pop it up here just on that bit of wall there, sorry my finger, my finger isn't long enough, that bit of wall there, or if not then I thought, it'd, I thought it'd be quite nice in the bedroom we've got like, as you come in our bedroom door, there's a little bit, little bit of wall that I thought would look nice coming into, then you kind of spot it every time we come into the bedroom. Um, anyway, I am going to, I'm going to get into the rest of those packages actually, um, open up those other bits. So I'm thinking we either put it up on this wall here, like around about there which I thought looked quite nice 
or the other alternative is it goes up on this wall here um so you kind of see it as soon as you walk in the bedroom i think maybe here just because i feel like it works nicely in the bedroom it's more like just pictures of us to have hidden away in the bedroom um so yeah i think here but let me know where you think it looks better okay i'm gonna open up these other three packages now this one i know where it's from because it says laura mercier on the front um so i'll open this one first i'm pretty sure i know what this one here is but i've no idea what this one at the bottom is so let's get into them oh cute a little makeup bag oh that's really cute oh okay so this is a secret brightening powder for under eyes blimey do i need that or what <laughs> and then a secret camouflage brighten and correct duo there was a little like um card in here the new secret camouflage concealer duo oh okay available in 16 shades undetectable full coverage brighten under eyes glides on smoothly moisturizers and comfort so it's a double-ended um concealer and then this is a secret brightening powder for under eyes so i'm guessing that it's kind of a bit like yes yeah, so it's like a thin powder and i guess you just set your concealer with it under the eyes i think that they will work perfectly hand in hand with my um laura mercier tinted moisturizer that i have got on today and that i am obsessed with i'm absolutely loving it um okay this package was the one okay hang on let me just grab a knife for this one don't worry it's not a sharp knife it's just a just a butter knife <laughs> yeah so this is a package from ghd and it is their new max professional wide plate styler so basically their new straighteners um but they're they're really big i've seen them seen people using them on Instagram and they just contacted me and asked if I would like to try it out so I was like absolutely so they're basically like the standard GHD straighteners but a lot wider and I think will make straightening my hair a lot quicker um, so I'll definitely try these out I might actually wash my hair this evening and then try them out in the morning um, but they also come with a little little silicone thing which is handy i feel like straighteners have never come with that before have they well i i certainly haven't had that with my straighteners before so that is really really handy it makes them look a little bit a little bit neater when you pop them away um and they've also popped a straight on straight and smooth spray in there as well which will be good and then this is the package i'm most intrigued by just because it's really big and heavy as well so i'm excited to see what it is <laughs> oh it's from free people oh okay so i do kind of know what's in here so um they reached out a little while ago and said would i like to select a pair of shoes and a dress from like their new kind of um spring summer collection and i mean it took me ages to decide because there were so many gorgeous pieces um but oh i think there's is that a sleeve um but i'm guessing there must be something else in here as well because it feels really heavy Spring has officially arrived and we could not be more excited about the longer, warmer days ahead. You and me both. Today we joined together in spirit and raised a glass of getting through the last 12 months, however that looked. The spring equinox, equinox traditionally marks a time of rebirth and with freedom just around the corner, we encourage you to leave behind anything that no longer serves you and only take the good bits ahead. Amen. So if there was ever a time to dress up, sit back, light a candle and sip a cocktail, we think today you deserve it. We hope to see you very soon. Love team free people. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Oh, okay, so this is the dress that I selected. 
I just thought it, it's very free people. It's very kind of like bohemian, floaty. But I just thought it was beautiful for spring. Oh, that's so gorgeous. How pretty is that? I, I don't think it'd be for everyone because it is quite like floral and floaty and like I said, a little bit bohemian. Um, but I just thought it was really, really gorgeous. And I actually selected boots that I thought would go really well with it. So it's long sleeve and floaty. I will try it on and show you how it looks on. Um, and then I went for these boots because I just thought they were absolutely gorgeous and would look beautiful with this dress, but would also look amazing with like just denim shorts and a shirt in the summer. I just thought they were so cool. And if I ever get to go to Coachella, then I thought they were perfect Coachella boots as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, gorgeous. They just look kind of cream with this little metal detail on the toe very sort of western and kind of yeah just really really cool really cool so i'll pop them in the description box they also come in a darker tan as well i think oh little cookies look at those a dress to match my dress and then a little flower a little free people flower really cute and then oh this is a little pepino small batch premium blended cocktails Gin, cucumber, mint, lime, and simple syrup. <gasps> wow. Oh, I might have that in the sunshine this evening, or at least one day this week. I'll pop that in a glass with ice. That'll be lovely. And then I think, what's in here? Oops. Oh, some candles. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen such a beautiful candle before? It must be ha a hand-painted candle. It's got all these gorgeous little flowers on it. So pretty. It's very free people as well, isn't it? Like with the flowers and, um, oh, dressed like it's spring. <laughs> what a cute little gift. Thank you so much, free people. That's so sweet. And then there's also, they've sent like a little, um, which I think is a coaster for the drinks. I mean, they've sent two coasters, but I won't be sharing this. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Lou doesn't drink gin. Um, but they've also sent some little like dried, it looks like dried pineapple and dried orange for, I'm guessing, to go with my gin. A little garnish. What a lovely, thoughtful PR package. Thank you so, so much. Um, okay. Shall I try this dress on? Seeing as that's kind of the way I've been doing things, unboxing and trying on. Um, yeah. I'll pop it on. Although, just bear in mind that I feel like everything I've tried on today hasn't worked as well as it would if my hair didn't look so awful. Like, I definitely should have washed my hair this morning and then everything would have looked a bit better. Whereas I think this will be perfect with, like, floaty waves and, yeah, when I've made a bit more of an effort. But anyway, I'll pop it on anyway and see how it looks. Okay, I've just taken my hair down because... I just wasn't feeling it with my hair up, it just didn't work. Um, so just ignore how messy it is and how much it needs a wash. <laughs> but the dress is beautiful, it is just stunning. Like if I stand back so you can see the bottom of it, look at that flow. <gasps> it's just absolutely gorgeous, like the fabric is stunning and it just feels really lovely on. Um, I don't think that, like I said before, I don't think this will be for everyone because it is quite... Um, it's quite a statement dress, isn't it? But I just think it's so, so pretty. Like the detail on it. Um, I love the neckline. I think once I've got a bit more of a tan in the summer as well, or if I've fake tanned, it might work a little bit better because, um, yeah, I think it's a very sort of spring summer dress. And then this is how the boots look on. And again, I think they're really cool. I don't know if the dress and boots, I mean, I think they work together, but I don't know if I would personally style them together. I think I maybe would go for something a little bit more subtle with the dress. Um, I think it might work well with just like a nice kind of pair of wedges that lace up your leg or something like that. A little bit more, a little bit more um, subtle. Um, but I think the boots are really, really cool. And like I said, would look amazing with jeans or denim shorts. I just realized I completely forgot to show you the Levi's dress on from Amazon Fashion. So this is how it looks on and it's super, super cute. Um, it is actually a really good length. I thought it was going to be too long when it was off. But actually now I've got it on, I think it's a really good length. I wouldn't really want it any shorter because it would just be a bit too, well, too short. <laughs> um, I have popped it on with the boots from Free People again. 
Um, and I think it looks quite cute like this. I don't know if it's a little bit too kind of cowboy-ish vibe, like too Western vibes with the denim and the cowboy boots. Um, but yeah, the dress is really cute. It kind of cinches in slightly at the waist and gives a really nice shape. Really cute little dress. I like it a lot. We've just come out for an early evening walk. We've just realised that the reason it's so bright and sunny, it's about six o'clock, but the reason it's still bright and sunny is obviously because the clocks went back. So we've got another hour of sunlight, so we thought we'd come out on a sunny evening walk to finish off the day. In fact, I'm going to finish off the video here. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Oh, when you're next to, when you're next to